Imagine having a super intelligent friend, someone who has read every book, article and blog post in existence. Now imagine this friend can chat with you about almost anything, help with your homework, write stories, crack jokes and even simplify complex topics. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, that's what uh, large language models or LLMs can do. In this video, we'll break down LLMs in a simple, beginner-friendly way. By the end, you will understand what LLMs are, how they work, and why they are so powerful. What is an LLM? LLM stands for Large Language Model. It's a type of artificial intelligence trained to understand and generate human-like text. You can talk to it, ask it questions, and it responds like a well-read, thoughtful person. It powers tools like ChatGPT, Google Bard, Claude, and many others. Let's break LM into three parts large language and model large means it's trained on massive amounts of data billions of words from books articles websites and more language refers to how we communicate using words sentences and meaning and model means a set of algorithms or instructions that helps the ai understand and generate text think of it like a recipe just as a recipe guides you to bake a cake a model guides the ASI to create meaningful sentences. Now here's a more technical definition. LLMs are deep learning models made of neural networks with billions of parameters trained using self-supervised learning on massive text datasets. Still with me? Great. Let's simplify that. Imagine you type the sentence, the sky is. What do you think comes next? An LLM will likely say, blue. Why? because it has seen that phrase thousands of times during training. It doesn't just memorize text, it learns patterns. It understands that sky is blue, makes sense in most contexts. That's the magic of LLMS. To understand how LMs work, we need to explore two main phases. First, training phase. Second, inferential phase. Let's go step by step. Let's first understand the training phase. This is where the model learns. It has four key steps. Step 1. Data Collection The model gathers a massive amount of text from books, websites and online articles. Step 2. Pre-processing That data is cleaned and tokenized, which means it's broken into smaller parts like words or subwords and converted into numbers. Step 3. Model Architecture Here the AI structure is designed. Usually it's a transformer, a special type of neural network built for language. Step 4. Training The model predicts the next word in millions of sentences, adjusting itself every time it makes a mistake. Over time, it becomes really good at understanding how language works. After training comes the inference phase. This is when you, the user, interact with the model. It also has four steps. Step 1. Input processing Your message is converted into tokens and embeddings, basically AI-friendly numbers. Step 2 generating output the model uses what it learned to predict the next words step 3 sampling it picks the most likely words from its predictions step 4 post processing finally it converts everything back to readable text and just like that you get a response fast relevant and coherent there are three important ideas that make lms work so well first attention mechanism this allows the model to focus on the most relevant parts of your input, helping it understand context better. Second, embeddings. These are mathematical representations of words that capture their meanings and relationships. Third, transformers. This is the architecture behind the model. It uses something called self-attention to process input in parallel, making everything faster and more accurate. Let's see some LLMS in action. Example 1 chatting. You ask, what's the capital of Japan? The LLM replies, the capital of Japan is Tokyo. Example 2. Writing. You say, can you help me write a story? The LLM responds, sure. Once upon a time in a land far away, there was a brave knight who. Example 3. Answering questions. You ask, explain photosynthesis in simple terms. LLM replies, photosynthesis is a process where plants use sunlight to make food from carbon dioxide and water. So why are LLMs a big deal because they are changing how we interact with machines? They power smart assistants, 
automate content creation, enhance education, and so much more. They are not just tools, they are collaborators, tutors, coders, and creative partners. As the technology evolves, LMs will become even better, more accurate, more helpful, and more human-like. To wrap up, LMs or large language models are the brains behind AI tools like ChatGPT. They learn from vast data, recognize patterns, and respond intelligently. Now that you know how they work, the next time you talk to an AI, you'll know exactly what's happening behind the scenes. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.